welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra. Uh, the subject of today, we're going to talk about coronavirus part two. This coronavirus thing, which is really big right now. And it's creating a lot of disturbance. A, in the past, I've spoken about this many, many times with my students who've been with me for a few years. And I've repeatedly many times have told you and shared with you that avoid the news. Forget about the news. The news is designed to create fear and anxiety and to make you to create this stuff inside you that you feel like their life is going to end and you're going to die and, and it makes you really small and insignificant and becoming submissive to the authority, the authority, whatever, the specialist, whomever they are, of exaggerating something so big that you're all going to die. Well, let me tell you, let me give you the news. You will die. Your body is going to die. But when are you going to die is the question. If you think you're going to live for another thousand years in this physical body, you're, you're wrong. So let's, let's clear this. You are going to die. That's, thank God. Otherwise, you don't want to stay in this body for another 200 years. Anyone who's got a little bit older understands how difficult it is to be in a body which is not functioning very well. So, thank God, the body will die and we move on. That's A. B. What are the chances that you die from corona disease, coronavirus, versus car accident? I want you to go on, online and research. How many people in your country die from car accidents? How many people in your country die from malpractice by physicians in hospitals? that they made mistakes, they gave you the wrong medication, they operated wrongly, they kill people in hospitals, they kill them by giving them wrong medication. This is continuous, continuously this happened. I want you to go do some research. How many people die from cancer? How many people die from heart attack? And if you go and research these, these uh, statistics, you will see for yourself that the number that people die from these things is far beyond coronavirus, far beyond coronavirus. Now, why aren't you worried every time you go sit in a car and start driving a car, especially today with Drivers being on their phone, paying, not paying attention to driving, trying to send a text message, or being drunk or intoxicated on prescription medication or alcohol or some kind of um, conventional uh, whatever uh, pleasure drug. And, and the moment they're not paying attention and they crash into your car and they kill you. Why aren't you worried about that? Because the percentage of the people who die from these kind of accidents are way more, way higher than corona disease. If you're worried about dying, then you should be freaked out every time you're getting in a car and you're driving. And you should be really freaked out about getting cancer. And you should be really freaked out about heart attack because those rates are way, way higher than the coronavirus. So this is something the media has exaggerated and created. It may get worse 
I don't know. I'm not claiming that I know what's going to happen in the future. But if it's on the media so much, I would question it. Who's going to benefit from creating a massive panic across the world? I wouldn't just sit there and listening to what I get from all these different radio or TV stations. Who's going to benefit out of it? What's behind it? What sort of agenda is there? Where do they want to take me? Are they going to create a situation that people have to volunteer to get um, vaccinated? Are we going to get chipped? Are we going to give away our freedom because of this? What's the agenda? What is it they want to get out of it that they've created this thing and they created such a huge fear of it? What's there? What's behind it? I just won't buy these news the way they are. And you think for yourself, you're a conscious being, you're educated. Don't just sit at home and be afraid. Investigate it. Look into it. See what's behind this. Is it true? And what is it going to do to me? Yeah, you're intelligent. Use your intelligence. Don't just submit to something so easily and be paralyzed by it. All of your spiritual practice and training, all the workshops you've done, all the books you've read, all of this stuff that you have done, whether you're practicing shamanism or you're a healer or you're a channeler, or you've gone to all these different workshops because I know most of you have been working on yourself. And all of this work you've done about expanding your consciousness and recognitions of the truth of who you are, right now it's being tested. This is the moment you, you have to demonstrate where you're at with your spirituality. Are you beyond, have you arisen above your body and your mind, your emotions? Have you conquered fear? Do you recognize your eternal? Do you recognize that you cannot vanish, you cannot die, maybe your body can? If you have, then this is the time to demonstrate it. This is the moment to prove to your higher self, to, your, to the soul, to your guru, to the creator, that you have accomplished inner silence and you have found inner peace in the face of a catastrophe or epidemic or whatever is the story is that you can graduate and go to the next level of consciousness. This is the moment to exercise that. And yes, in the same time, we use our intelligence. We're intelligent beings. We don't take unnecessary risk. We don't do stupid things. We're careful. I understand that. No one says, be reckless. But this is a moment that meditation and your training comes very handy. If you've been at any of my training programs, if you've been at any of my workshops, if you've been in Sweden doing the 5D quantum healing training program, if you've been in Sedona, if we have done workshops together, then I've given you the tools 